Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we're heading back to the World Circuits for another of the races that we're working on. Before I do that, I'm going to check the options and make sure that our race difficulty is on normal. Yes, I'm changing from hard to normal because we're heading off to Sardegna for the Dirt Champions and I cannot, cannot do this on hard. I am finding it absolutely impossible. So my focus settings are on the screen there. I've just got um, pretty much everything up to full whack to try and get as much power as we can. We need to do three laps around this track at Sardegna Windmills and we are up against the Mustang on this occasion. We've got the full start penalty system in place, so foot on the brake, off the brake, not a great reaction, and then we're off chasing the Mustang. Now, I am not going to take you through how to do this, the perfect turnings, the perfect gears, brake points, etc., because, well, I can't rally drive to save my life. Really, I just throw this thing around here and just try and get in front of the rival car and just try and beat him to the flag. In this particular race, we are constantly overtaking each other, showing where I'm quick and also where I'm slow. I've gone really deep into that corner. Did manage to get onto the back of the Mustang. The only tip that I will give you in this is keep the revs high, with one, I think. Um, but also to turn the steering wheel early and just keep on turning it. You can see the little red dots above the speedometer there going left and right and left and right as the car is dancing around. This is one of the areas where I am fairly quick just through here. We did get this pretty much nailed, although the Mustang came back at us that time. One of the other things that you will need to be careful of if you're doing this is this jump. Try and get your car lined up because that jump will catch you out every time. It caught me then, I had a very bad landing. You want to try and take that straight and maybe even not take as much air because the longer your wheels are in contact with the ground, the more control that you have and the faster you will be. So at the moment, we're just really trading places with this Mustang right now. Got a little bit deep into that one, so catching the, uh, the rocks there. That lets the Mustang through again, but we've got a slightly better run. We managed to get the power down earlier through here. Again, he's really chasing. I've gone out left way too much into the barriers again. He's gone into the barriers too, which again brings us back a level as we go through. And this is on lap number two at the moment. So we're about halfway through this race and we are managing to stay with the Mustang. We're in front at the moment uh, only because we managed to block him there. And he's coming back at us again through this corner. I've got a better run up this hill, getting it turned. This is the area where I am able to just do it a little bit better. Or oh, didn't quite get the back end round enough there. So going to head off down towards the blue bridge here. Can we get a better jump this time? That's better. Not so much air, much more controlled and straight. And that has enabled us to stay in front of the Mustang as we head down into this first section. But he storms past us, absolutely driving to the limit the Mustang right now. Really going well. I will remind you this is on the normal setting, not the hard setting that we have been using. I have ended up dropping back after probably an hour and a half of trying to do this on hard and just really not getting anywhere. Well, I say I wasn't getting anywhere. I was anywhere between three and five seconds behind the AI car. I just couldn't find that extra little bit of time. I'm pretty sure that if I kept on running, I could probably have found it, but I wanted to get on with some of the other races. And I enjoy these rally stages if I haven't got to get gold. If I just want to do a run and slide the car around, these are great fun and they're really well put together. But if you are running the campaign and you want to get gold easy, then I would say swallow your pride, 
drop down to either easy or normal for this one. This was the normal settings. As we come to the line, you can see just how close that was. The Mustang was once again coming back at us during that section, and we were just 0.222 of a second ahead of the Mustang at the end. So it was gold. It was a little bit of a bittersweet, a bit of a hollow victory because we did do it on the normal settings, not the hard settings that I would have preferred. But gold is gold at the end of the day and I wanted to get on to the next batch of races and just work my way through the world circuits claiming the golds. So I was quite pleased to do it on normal at the end of the day. I didn't need to drop down too easy, so it wasn't a dead loss. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, not an awful lot to learn from this one, but if you did enjoy it, please hit the like button because it really helps the channel. I'd really like to get a few more likes on my videos and know that you guys are appreciating the content that I'm putting out. If you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and to support my channel would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you're a current subscriber, thanks ever so much for continuing to support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. For now, that's this video done and this rally completed. I'll look forward to seeing you on another video coming very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.